sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Well, it seems that the Boston Celtics um, pretty much gave the Lakers the go-ahead and get Anthony Davis from the Pelicans. I think if they would have gave Jason Tatum up, okay, um, that the Lakers would have been forced to give Kyle Kuzma up. But Danny Ainge refused to trade Jason Tatum for Anthony Davis. Therefore, the Pelicans were no longer interested in trading Anthony Davis to the Boston Celtics. Let's talk about it. I'll link that article in the description of the article link. Blessings to all the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Appreciate you guys for tapping in. And ultimately, the Pelicans really held Jason Tatum in high regards. I believe Jason Tatum is better than anybody the Lakers could have offered. Now, uh, last year, people said, well, Jason Tatum didn't have a great year last year. Yeah, and that's because of Danny Ainge, to be honest, and um, Brad Stevens. Okay, Danny Ainge refused to trade anybody and, and pretty much consolidate his assets. And it looked, like, it looked like he stuck with a whole bunch of candy corn. Other than, you know, uh, other than Jason Tatum, maybe Jalen Brown. And what I mean by that, by not consolidating those assets, by not possibly trading Morris or trading uh, Rozier or Jalen Brown or, you know, trying to trade Gordon Hayward. And I heard they had a contingency plan for Gordon Hayward of uh, trading him to Memphis and picking up, I think, Chandler Parsons' contract and getting Mike Conley in return. And I think giving up a pick or two um, to get Mike Conley there if Kyrie was to lose, was, was to leave. But... By not consolidating those assets, they all they all pretty much bullied Jason Tatum this year. And I mean that in an indirect manner, not a direct manner, which, you know, a lot of people don't know basketball. What happened was all them dudes that's playing for contracts here, even Al Horford, Morris, Rozier, Brown, you know, not, you know, he playing for his next big contract. All them guys over there putting Gordon Hayward into the mix. Then you got Marcus Smart, I forgot about him. All them dudes was playing for a future contract. Okay, all them dudes was playing hero ball. And what happened was they tried to make it seem like it was Kyrie coming back that was the problem. And it wasn't so much Kyrie coming back. Kyrie played the year before that, before he got injured, real well. He was moving the ball, but everybody was selfish on Boston, okay? Everybody was selfish. Everybody trying to get the next contract. Everybody trying to, you know, shine because everybody pretty much in the contract year. More smart, I think maybe in the contract year. You know, everybody is just, it was too many players at the same position. At that four, that three position, at the two position, at the one position, you know, it was just too many players. And pretty much Jalen Brown is a kid. He's a baby. He's not going to take precedence over them guys. He's not going to be a vocal leader and say, well, I did carry you niggas in the Eastern Conference Finals. Y'all forgot about that when Rozier couldn't hit the side of a barn and Jalen Brown couldn't hit the side of the side of a, uh, uh, of a building, all right. When when Morris, you niggas, you niggas wasn't showing up. Smart, you wasn't showing up. I was the one that was banging on LeBron, that was carrying us in the game, and all you niggas, you know, faltered. He didn't say that, cause he a kid. He get his ass whooped. This was grown man in there, and Brad Stevenson didn't have the kahunas to step up and say it neither. So it wasn't that Kyrie was affecting Jason Tatum game. That wasn't it. It was the selfishness of the veterans. That's why I was fighting in a huddle and all that. And Danny Ainge by not consolidating those. Those assets and bringing in one big asset, he refused to trade Jalen Brown for Kawhi Leonard. He refused to trade for Paul George. He refused. He refused to do a lot of things. He refused to trade for Jimmy Butler, and you end up with Gordon Hayward, a one-legged Gordon Hayward. And ultimately, he did it again. He refused to trade Jason Tatum for Anthony Davis. Now, I would have been probably with Brown in there and a couple other guys. He wasn't, you know, willing to do that. But really, pretty much what he did, he collected all those assets. And 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 he better hope he hit on the draft pick. He better hope somebody develop into something. Because really, pretty much, he stuck. And he could have cashed in for Anthony Davis. The Celtics could have had him. Jason Tatum better than Brandon Ingram, Lonzo, and probably any of them picks though, thus far. Brandon Jason Tatum is a dog. You know, they would have to give up some draft picks as well, too. But, therefore, the Celtics wasn't willing to give up Tatum. The Lakers had to still overcompensate to get Anthony Davis. And still, they don't have enough money for a max player. 
You know, so, I mean, at the end of the day, if I'm the Celtics, I'm looking to bring in some other players, but Danny Ainge just didn't step up and move nobody in. Pretty much what happened was they always beefed out. They always competing for minutes. Competing, it was too many players on the team, not too many uh, Chiefs on the team, not enough Indians. Everybody had a Chief mentality because they want to get that bigger bag. They want to get that money. And pretty much what it what it really what it really manifested into is it looked like a Kyrie versus them thing, but it really was it was you know nobody wanted to play their they part. Everybody wanted to be Kyrie, and Kyrie said, you know what, they're gonna try to blame this on me. I'm out of here. You know, Danny Ainge fought. Brand Stevenson not having the balls enough to take control of the locker room. And now what are the Celtics? Don't know. They goulash. Whole bunch of shit in there. They gumbo. Whole bunch of shit in there. I don't know if it's going to work. But that's the lowdown, man. I'll link the article in the description. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hill Blaze, TheHillBlaze.com. Promo code Goodfellas one box to get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair palm, make candles, and much, much more. 100% all natural products. Website, promo code, and description. Get the 18% off. And don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate the love and support. I'll link the article link in the description. Y'all know what it is.